to give thanks at all times with sincerity really has to start with uh, your worldview. It has to start with a gospel-centered worldview. If you don't go through the cross and uh, the resurrection, then it's uh, almost impossible to do that with sincerity because what the cross does is it reframes our whole worldview so that we can develop an attitude of gratitude, so to speak, in everything. But more importantly, we look at things through the lens of eternity and through the lens of the completed work of Jesus Christ. So for example, the cross itself, that Friday was the most heinous crime that ever has been committed in human history. It's a tremendous uh, miscarriage of justice. But now, from our perspective, we look back at it and call it Good Friday. Well, the cross has that same effect on all of life once you really understand its implications. The, the fact that God has invaded uh, time uh, from eternity and has called us to himself now gives us a, a completely different vantage point from which we can look at the circumstances of life. So that, uh, for example, I believe it's in Ephesians uh, 5, it says that we can give thanks in all things. And I think... Uh, that passage in Thessalonians says the same thing. First Thessalonians chapter five uh, talks about uh, in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So I think that first of all we have to talk about uh, this whole worldview that has been shaped um, by the gospel, which allows us to look at things uh, individually. They might not be good, but we understand that because God is on the throne and because uh, He yet has control that we can give thanks, uh, first of all, because regardless of what's happening in our lives, we know that ultimately he is going to work it out so that we can be conformed to the image of Christ and so that he can get the maximum glory. So within that context, we can give thanks for all things or we can give thanks in all things. I don't think that God, uh, by saying that, I don't think that God requires us to be thankful for every negative thing that happens. In other words, uh, recently there's been tremendous human tragedies with earthquakes, with tsunamis, with cyclones, and so on and so forth. So I don't think per se that we give thanks for an earthquake or we give thanks for a cyclone. I believe that, however, within the framework of God's sovereignty, we can be uh, grateful you know, for the small things that might have come out, those situations in terms of the people's lives who were saved because all of those situations could have been worse. And even in our own personal lives, when tragedy affects us, it's not per se that we thank God for tragedy, but we can thank him in the midst of it.